Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chemical Engineering Gate 2019 Process Instrumentation Dynamics and Control Questions with Solution. Gate 2019 Question Paper and Answer Key link is available in my description box. You can download it. Question number 31. Choose the option that correctly matches the step response curve on the left with the appropriate transfer function on the right. The step input change occurs at time t is equal to 0. Step response curve on the left side, appropriate transfer function on the right side. So, we will discuss which option is correct for this question. So, the option number 1. K into damping coefficient into S plus 1 by S into towers plus 1. K damping coefficient time constant greater than 0. So, here this is the option number 1. So, we should take this value equal to transfer function y of s by x of s. So, here the step input. By default, step command perform a unit step. So, here x of t is equal to t. So, this is the unit step input. So, here after taking the Laplace transform, x of s is equal to 1 by s. Substitute x of s determine the y of s expression. So, we have the final value. So, we could check initial value theorem and final value theorem. So, initial value theorem limit t tending to 0 y of t is equal to limit s tending to infinity s into y of s. We have y of s equation substitute here. Cancel the s value finally substitute s tending to infinity y of 0 is equal to 0. So, why? Because the infinitive divided by uh, infinity is right. The substitute the infinity value here. Uh, yes, yes, sir, cancel anything by infinity that is equal to 0. So, final value theorem. Final value theorem here limit t tending to infinity y of t is equal to limit s tending to 0 s into y of x. So, here already we have the y of s expression substitute here. Uh, s values are tending to 0. So, y of infinity is equal to infinity. This is unbounded response. Unbounded response means there is no limit. So, here we have uh, 4 responses. So, this transfer function is suitable for which response we could check now. So, from the derivation, we come to know this is unbounded response. Unbounded means the initial value is 0, final value no limit. That is a infinity value. So, here the first option is a capital Q. So, the second option. Second option K into damping coefficient into S plus 1 by tau S plus 1. So, here K greater than 0 damping coefficient greater than uh, time constant greater than 0. So, here option number 2. Yeah. So, this is the option number 2. Already I said. So, by default. So, the step input uh, perform a unit step. So, we have x of t is equal to 1. So, this is a unit step input. After taking the Laplace transform, x of s is equal to 1 by s. So, here substitute x of s, finally we get y of s is equal to this expression. So, now we could check initial value theorem and final value theorem. Limit t tending to 0, y of t is equal to limit s tending to infinity to s into y of s. We have y of s expression, substitute here. Substitute s value tending to infinity. So, here uh, uh, how to substitute s value here? So, already s s are cancelled. So, the k into from this take s value outside. 
so here this is epsilon this one goes to 1 by s divided by so here take s outside tau plus 1 by s again s is a cancer so here substitute the infinity value anything by infinity that is goes to 0 finally we get k into damping coefficient divided by tau so next to final value theorem limit t tending to infinity y of t is equal to limit s tending to 0 s into y of x so y of is already we have substitute here y of infinity is equal to k so from this derivation we come to know y of infinity and y of 0 value y of 0 is greater than y of infinity so here epsilon uh, that is uh, damping coefficient and uh, time constant greater than 0 so here yeah the second option so here the y of uh, 0 greater than y of uh, infinity so we come to know so this tensor function suitable for which response so you check the uh, rest of the responses p r and s so here s response is a uh, y of 0 value is higher than y of infinity so here this option suitable response that is a s so we have four answers a b c d so here q is a first one q is the first one here s is a second transfer function then uh, what about the p and r so here the, you refer the response of p the p is a step response so step response mean which transfer function is suitable here k by towers plus 1 so why because the step input or step responses um, step input uh, can be described as a change in the input from 0 to a finite value at a time t is equal to 0. So by default step command perform a unit step. So here input uh, goes from 0 to 1 at a time t is equal to uh, 0. Okay. So this is the uh, appropriate transfer function. So here the suitable one um, p is right. Yeah. So this is p. This is step response. This is order. The rest uh, r. r is a automatically there is a fourth uh, transfer function. So here uh, this is inverse response. Inverse response means uh, this is the uh, when the initial response of a dynamic system is in a direction opposite to the final outcome. This is a second order, is right? Yeah, tau 1 s plus 1 into tau 2 s plus 1. This is second. So, second order. This is the uh, second order section. Uh, here, this is the inverse response. The initial response of a dynamic system is in a direction opposite to the final outcome. This is direction is a opposite. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, finally, our option is a b this is the correct answer okay so for uh, this uh, derive derivation the transfer function we come to know that option b is the correct answer okay thank you the further videos um, are like share and subscribe my channel Thank you once again.